You heard it right, boys. You can pirate my music. And I wouldn't even care. Okay, so this backstory is a long one, so I'm gonna just keep it as short as possible. Now, for those who are not in the loop, I'm gonna just give it to you like this. Spotify released a new rule saying that if your song don't got 1,000 streams, you're not getting paid for that song. It has pissed a lot of artists off, including new artists and including me, and personally me, because none of my songs got 1,000 streams. And to make matters worse, as soon as this went into effect, I couldn't even see how many streams a song made in the Spotify for Artists app because since all of my songs were under 1,000 streams, the only thing I could see was a tag that says less than 1,000 streams. So I couldn't see exactly how many streams the song or release made, which pissed me right off. And of course, Spotify is not going to listen. That's just my opinion. Also, this kind of reminds me of the time VR check was in some hot water uh, because they added an easy anti-cheat to their game. And people couldn't play it because they had mouths installed. But anyway, that's just off topic. Back to the music stuff. So on to the pirating stuff. But first, two backstories. Backstory one. It was early 2000s to early 2010s. There were peaks of music pirating. From Beyonce to Fetty Wap to Silent Toe to Soulja Boy to Taylor Swift. And many other famous artists. Fast forward to today, there's not a lot of music pirating that is noticeable. It's still barely noticeable, but not noticeable enough to actually admire it. I guess. Um, I don't know. I don't know the words to it. Um, uh, another part of the backstory is that is that back then we used to have like um, Napster, LimeWire. Now it's, it's like Napster is, is an actual digital streaming platform now, and LimeWire is doing some 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 what cryptocurrency thing now. Um, but yeah, that's the point. The point is the second backstory, and this is where my inspiration came in. A game developer um, publishes a game on Steam, but then uploads it to torrent sites and says you can the game with no strings attached because people are going to pirate the game anyway so you might as well want to t pirate the game without having to feel bad now I want to kind of get into the game well not get into the game but like kind of explain like what's in the pirate version of the game so like in the pirate version of the game well first of all the genuine the genuine version of the game um, is basically just a regular genuine game um, it's just, like nothing added to it, but like the pirated version of the game, it's like the the, the regular genuine version of the game, but there was like some added little treats to it. Uh, there's like some pirate themes, so like it's like pirate ships and and skulls and bones, and like even pirate theme songs, so like so like soundtracks and like triplet tracks and stuff like that, uh, which is actually kind of cool. Now there are other companies that did this too. Well, there are other people that did this too, like 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 um. Minecraft Notch, um, there are people who tell them that they, that there are people that are telling them that they couldn't afford Minecraft, um, because they were low on money, I guess. But then Notch says, just pi uh, just pirate it, and if you get if you get enough money to buy the game, um, you can uh, you can uninstall the pirated version and just purchase it, I guess. Now that's the end of story time. So. Now to the actual pirating part. Now if you go into the push.fm link in the description of this video, you'll find the usual digital streaming platforms. But if you scroll down, you can find three unusual links that you probably will never see on other fan links. All three of those is Mediafire, Internet Archive, which is a place where you archive stuff. This very unusual one, that says torrent this is the magnet link where you can directly download the torrent for the clash ep so all you have to do is well first of all before you click any of those you you will first need to make sure you have uh, a torrent client installed uh i recommend qbit torrent or BitTorrent, whichever one you want to use um just make sure it supports torrents. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. And that it opens torrents. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. So, after you got that installed, you're gonna click 
either the media fire in an archive or the magnet link which is the t which is the torrent link well no fucking shit and what this will do is well if you're using uber gx like me it would ask you well depending on what browser you use it will ask you if you would like to open the link in the torrent you currently have installed what you want to do is press open and then your torrent client will pop up on the screen and then it will say like here are the things that are in this torrent would you like to download all of these and then you're going to press download selected or download all or whatever it says and then voila you have all four of the clash ep songs from queen b fusion all the way down to ignorance it also includes a readme text file um in which you don't have to read it if you already uh watch this video now let me explain the future of doing this so my future of this is that i am going to have other torrent projects coming soon this won't be the only one i'll be doing of course i'll be trying this again now the downside is that this is not on actual official torrent sites just yet i'm still currently trying to figure out how to do that but i'm having to jump through a lot of hoops in order for it to get it officially done so so far this is the only way i can get it so um yeah that's about it um go pirate the ep uh i don't really care and it doesn't really bother me at all if you still want to stream the ep it's still on digital streaming platforms just know that um that i won't be getting paid from y'all guys streaming my my songs um either way um so if y'all don't want to waste y'all time having to pay a subscription just uh just to listen to my songs on spotify or apple music or whatever the heck i uh, know if it's the apple music uh you can just you can just pirate it um yeah that's about it uh yeah happy pirating and don't feel bad for pirating my songs because I'm not hurt in any way. Y'all can do whatever y'all want.